hi guys welcome back to another video so in, in this video i'm going to try and answer the question that was asked on a previous video is synthetic indices better than forex is synthetic indices better than forex what do you guys think if you traded forex and if you traded synthetic indices what was your experience what do you think leave your comments in the comment section below so that we help one another so in this video i'm just going to give my own opinion about synthetic indices and forex and try and answer is synthetic indices better than forex let's agree that it's just an opinion that i'm giving in this video so feel free to disagree feel free to agree if you have traded synthetic indices and you have traded forex i've basically traded both so it's just from my own experience but before we look at is synthetic indices better than forex I think it's important to note that whether you are uh, looking at synthetic indices being better than a forex or forex being better than a synthetic indices is going to depend on various factors. Uh, for example, your trading goals. For example, your risk tolerance. And also the trading strategies that you use. So, uh, let's talk about uh, how synthetic indices uh, can be better than a forex. Uh, we'll probably do another video uh, because I, do, I don't want to uh, waste uh, uh, too much time on a subject. I think in the next video, I'll do a video on probably why forex might be better than a synthetic indices. So if you are struggling with forex trading, I always say, there are other instruments that you can trade out there i've seen people who are trading binary options and they are making a lot of money trading binary options uh the broker that i also use uh, when i'm in the mood for binary options the link will be in the description box below and the broker that i use also for forex and synthetic indices the links are in the description box below so if you want to try out uh, synthetic indices binary options if you want to try out forex see the links in the description box below so the first key point about synthetic indices i think which makes them uh, better than forex is availability synthetic indices they are available 24/7 unlike forex trading which only trades uh, uh 5 days a week and it's sometimes closed during holidays and uh, things like that but with synthetic indices because they are synthetic which means uh, they are just like man made uh, of course they say they are run by algorithms and robots and stuff like that whatever highly complex systems that the broker uses it means they actually can run 24 hours seven days a week so in uh, that scenario uh, synthetic indices are kind of better than forex for people who have the appetite for trading uh, 24 hours seven days a week for some people well they are fine with trading just five days take a weekend come back on monday start all over again but for some people they uh, they find uh, forex are limiting they want to trade at 24 hours seven days a week then there is another thing also about volatility it's very important if you're going to be uh, trading because volatility uh, often determines uh, the trading opportunities that you would get in the markets so if you are trading an instrument that is not so volatile basically it doesn't move it doesn't move that much it means the opportunities also are very limited so because uh synthetic indices are so volatile if you are looking at volatility 75 volatility 100 um, uh, boom and crash uh, step index 
those things are so volatile which means that there are so so many opportunities to get in the market and make a profit which is not uh, the same with forex trading sometimes things are just quiet in forex trading you know you know those uh, ranges sometimes forex uh, pairs love to range and then uh, sometimes you have what are those exotic forex pairs that sometimes don't even move an inch so that's another advantage of trading uh, uh, synthetic indices how they can be better than forex trading in terms of volatility but volatility also means substantial risk so it's important that uh, i put it out there volatility also means substantial risk because something is so volatile and can make you a lot of money it doesn't mean then uh, just go in there blindly you also need to come up with a strategy of how to minimize the risk and maximize on the profit then there is the issue about world events um, forex uh, we know it's very susceptible or it reacts to whatever is happening uh, globally if the new is a new pandemic uh, forex pairs start jumping around if there is uh, cpi news they start jumping around the fed is about to announce some interest rates and whatever uh, this forex pairs start jumping around uh, there's a war somewhere just just jumping around so for some people they don't like that so volatility indices and those step indices and uh, the boom and crashes they don't care about whatever is happening in the world so for some people that's why synthetic indices are better than forex because you are guaranteed that the thing is just going to what continue with its predictable market behavior because there are no external influences on volatility 75 or boom and crash step index range break those uh, synthetic indices so you are guaranteed that the the predictable let's not say predictable let's just say uh, the kind of expected movement is guaranteed there is no spiking and of course you are, if you are going to be trading boom and crash there's going to be spiking and stuff on the one minute time frame but you you get what i mean you get what i mean so that's another thing for some people why synthetic indices can be better than a forex because they're not connected to a real uh, world events they are not influenced by real world events it's just an algorithm that's moving the thing talking about algorithm some people actually uh, feel that uh, synthetic indices are better than forex in terms of manipulation you know in forex there are the big guys who move the markets then there are us the smaller guys the retail traders and we're usually at the mercy of those uh, bigger guys because sometimes they just manipulate things i mean this is documented this is documented it's not like i'm i'm talking about science fiction it's documented how these big banks and hedge funds sometimes manipulate these uh, currencies so some people feel because synthetic indices are managed by an algorithm by computer systems it means they are less prone to manipulation uh, feel free to disagree with that in the comments section below because yeah some people disagree they say because synthetic indices are offered by one broker uh, the link is in the description box below uh, it means then uh, that that broker controls everything so they can uh, basically manipulate everything at their discretion so feel free to disagree or agree with whether synthetic indices are manipulated so another point is uh, leverage uh, synthetic indices do come with a little bit of high leverage uh, which is usually not allowed in forex uh, trading uh, 
sometimes uh, I think in uh, the tier one countries I think the leverage is probably maximum leverage that you can use in your trading is probably around uh, 1 is to 200 1 is to 100 1 is to 50 or stuff like that but uh, 30 indices come with these high leverages 1 is to 1000 and stuff like that which means with a small amount uh, a small deposit uh, the broker that I use, you can deposit just ten dollars. You can control a huge amount of money in the market, but it doesn't necessarily mean that because you have high leverage, you automatically are going to instantly make money. Let me just put it out there, because high leverage can amplify your gains. That's a good idea. That's a good thing. You can quickly flip accounts and grow your accounts, but it's also very risky because it can also quickly amplify your losses so it's a double-edged sword uh, leverage so some people leverage in synthetic indices makes them better than forex trading especially if they don't have uh, a huge amounts of capital to start with then uh yeah um basically the last point uh, that i have is synthetic indices are basically suitable for both short term and long term uh, trading strategies uh, i mean uh, i've seen people trading of course i don't i don't agree with it but i've seen people trading boom and crash on the 1 minute time frame but there are people like me who also trade boom and crash on the 1 minute on the 1 hour sorry on the 1 hour time frame 4 hour time frame and things like that you can also do that with volatility 75 you can you can trade it on the four hourly one hourly which is more uh, safe and stable or you can go down to the one minute time frame and i do go down to the one minute time frame uh, times or uh, five minute time frames and times uh, just to scalp and make quick gains whereas in a forex trading i have noticed uh, that myself i'm talking about myself I, i've struggled with a trading on the one minute time frame in forex i've made money uh, scalping the one minute the five minute 15 minute and only the end of the day to lose all that money again uh, after being hit by some un unexpected news or something like that like that so yeah so what do you think uh leave your comments and thoughts in the comment section below is synthetic indices better than a forex i want to hear what you think i think maybe in the next video we'll talk about why forex might be better than a synthetic indices so that we just balance it out um for people who want to know otherwise guys i'll see you in the next video